So Arkansas Republican Senator Tom Cotton just called slavery a quote unquote necessary evil. That's what he said. And he said it in the context of his new bill, which would effectively censor the 1619 project from being studied or assigned in American public schools. So the 1619 project was a New York Times effort to have a bunch of writers, historians, scholars, thinkers explore how slavery was integral to the founding of the United States, but played a role throughout the entire history of the country, even into the modern period. And as such, the project's goal is to show that rooted in the very essence of America is racial inequality. It is inseparable from what makes America, America. They are right. But Tom Cotton disagrees with that, and he thinks it's left-wing, quote-unquote, propaganda to suggest that racial inequality is at root in the founding and entire historical progression of the United States of America. And he doesn't just disagree with the 1619 Project. Again, he wants to punish schools financially that would allow the 1619 Articles to be assigned in their history classrooms or African American studies classrooms or what have you. But more to the point, he goes on to say effectively that slavery was a necessary evil. And he says, we have to study the history of slavery and its role and impact on the development of our country because otherwise we can't understand our country. As the founding fathers said, it was the necessary evil upon which the union was built, but the union was built in a way, as Lincoln said, to put slavery on the course to its ultimate extinction. What some Republicans and conservatives and Tom Cotton defenders are saying is that he's paraphrasing the founding fathers who called it a necessary evil. But rather, I think he's making an appeal to their authority to say our great and illustrious and glorious founding fathers saw slavery as a necessary evil. And therefore, so do I. And so should we today in 2020, which is to say for Tom Cotton, he believes fundamentally that it was a good thing. Americans were allowed to own other people. For more than 200 years, really, Tom Cotton thinks it's great that Americans could own people and own their children and their grandchildren, their great grandchildren. He thinks that was necessary. He thinks, again, that maybe that was bad, but it was necessary, that there was no way around it. And that is BS. People knew back during the days of the founding fathers that slavery was wrong and that there were other ways of doing things and that that was a total cop out to the planter class elite in the South that dominated politics through the broken Senate system, through the three fifths compromise and on and on and on. People knew it was wrong. And from the day of America's birth and even before that, going to the abolitionists in both England and the United States, people thought that broken and unnecessary system of oppression. And what Tom Cotton is trying to do, in essence, is excuse slavery. To simultaneously say that the United States at its root is not a discriminatory or racially inegalitarian country, and then on the other hand to say, hey, look, that system that I said doesn't actually tarnish the roots of our country, that system was necessary to our country. And so I think he's trying to have it both ways, but he's utterly failing at his actual execution. Here's the deal, Tom. If you believe that owning people was necessary to getting the United States where it was, then you are in effect admitting that it is at the root of the American Republic. Because what you're saying is, if it was necessary, then for America to be America, it had to exist. What does that mean? At the roots of the country, this was a necessary, quote unquote, nutrient for those roots to grow and proliferate. And so what Tom Cotton is saying, and this is the insidious part, they should be allowed to teach in schools that slavery was ultimately a good development for the United States, that the United States would have been worse off without it, but it should be effectively illegal 
to teach that the United States since its founding has been in effect a racist and discriminatory country. What a monster Tom Cotton is. And again, this is exactly what he would accuse the left of doing. Using the government force, using cancel culture, using silencing and PC culture to in effect censor thought in our schools, to censor thought from reaching young people. He would suggest that this is what the left would do when they try to silence conservative voices in our schools. Yet it's only him that is trying to use public financing of schools to, in effect, silence any criticism about the supposedly glorious and stainless roots of the American Republic. What a monster and what a hypocrite.